Hey guys, this is Bill from Spencer1984.com with an update about what's on the bench. Now, I just finished off the Riptide Corvette and posted the video last week, as well as the Charger Daytona. I'm going to have a video of that up shortly. So it's time to start on a couple new projects. The first of these is going to be Monogram's classic Midget Racer, which was first issued back in the 50s, and uh, this is the 1995 reissue of the kit. Although it says true scale model, there's no specific scale listed on it. Uh, everybody's best guess for a midget racer is that it's supposed to be 1 18th scale. And I'm going to be using that to make a 1 24th scale full size indie racer. The body is pretty simple, just two major pieces and a separate hood. It has a driver, plastic tires and a four-cylinder engine, which I'm going to be replacing the tires and engine with 124 scale components. Uh, probably an Offenhauser flathead V8. And this is going to be the car that was used in the 1940s movie The Blonde Comet. So, had some decals. Piece of clear for the windshield. Very basic instructions, just one exploded view of the car. And the other thing I'm going to be working on is a much newer kit. Ravel's current release of Lamborghini Diablo VT Roadster. It's a snap tight, and I've built a few of Ravel's snap tights at make and takes in other places, and they're generally pretty good, so this should be a pretty simple build. I'm not going to be making any major modifications to it. We've got the body cast in yellow. It's got nice open takes all the way around. Separate engine cover. The rear bumper is a separate piece, along with the rear suspension and bottom half of the engine. Separate mirrors and a separate rear splash pan. The rest of the chassis is all cast in black, with pretty nicely detailed suspension components, front and rear. The front axle holder is cast as part of the interior bucket. Nicely detailed seats. Other interior components. Yeah, four chrome wheels. Got a set of nice, no name, but good tread detail on the tires. The windshield glass has the frame cast as part of it. That'll need to be painted body color, and it's also got the shadowed area for painting black around it. And finally, a set of graphics. These are peel and stick. I won't be using anything other than the emblems, the instrument cluster, and the side marker lights. But, so that's it. Check back later in the week when I've got the video of the Daytona, and next weekend when I'll have an update on these two kits. Thanks for watching.